Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC. And which right now, the Allies are kicking some Italian, Turkish, Yugoslavian, well maybe not Yugoslavian, but Greek maybe, booty. Yeah, well maybe not Greek, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, right now we're led by Michael I, we are of course known as the Kingdom of Poland and Lithuania, but Germany demands Mamel. German forces are amassing in Ostpreußen, and the Foreign Ministry has presented us with an ultimatum. We are to immediately secede or cede the Mamel territory to them or face the threats of military action. Should we agree to the demands demanded by Wilhelm II? So, which is directly going to coincide because I have asked you guys yesterday whether we should do our own type of faction up there. So you can alliance with the Kaiser. We should go with the Allies or we should institute a royal dictatorship. And at the time of this recording, there is support on both sides, but there's a little bit more support for institute a royal dictatorship. So I apologize that we're not going to take a pro ally government, but when I do do the path to do this one in the Commonwealth claimant, please remind me to take this path because we can still join the allies when we do uh, Poland Lithuania. But this Shem holds executive rights to veto any decision made by the king, and though this has served us uh, well so far, the world is changing and we cannot allow bureaucracy to stand in the way of our king's divine right to rule. So should we agree to the demands? We must accept? Never. Well, let's take a look. Well, they have Czechoslovakia and the Allies. Um, there was a comment saying that uh, Czechoslovakia... That's kind of a derpy focus, but no, no that's, that's not what I want to say. That they, There's a focus here. Uh, Ger they probably went down with German appeasement, and they gave them the Sudetenland. That's how come they got the Sudetenland, the Germans did. German technology, and they become a German puppet, but dishonored before death. The Hungarian situation, so... Yeah, so they must have done that one and not have done the German puppet yet because they're still in the Allies, right? Yeah, they're not a puppet of Germany, so we'll see what happens. So it seems like, are we going to accept? No, nah, we're pretty good. Honestly, if you look at our divisions compared to theirs on the border, and of course it's only April 1939, we're looking not too bad. Now, we have no manpower. We don't have a lot of political power, but oh well. Before we keep going on, though, I did also ask you guys yesterday whether we should... <clears throat> Let's see, do a national education or nationalist education, or should we do abolish segregated seeing? Now, the support, of course, for both sides, but there's a lot more support for abolish segregated seating. Poland is a landscape of people different of, of different ethnicities, cultures, and faiths. Yet, in our education, we keep them separate. If they truly are all Poles, then we should be together and share ideas freely. Segregated seating is little but a constraint on our education and must be abolished. I know it gets more comments too before we keep going on. Uh, someone also said, like I said earlier, Czechoslovakia went with the appeasement path in their, fact, in their focus tree. Uh, someone says we should go with fascist Poland sometime. Sure, sometime, sure, absolutely. Why not? Someone says we need to get 50 factories in a home territory to get a research slot. So, yeah, this is already ready unlocked. So maybe you're correct. You need 50 own factories in our own home core territory of Poland. Probably. Someone says we should join the Central Powers. So it's probably a little too late to do that one. Probably. Uh, so this is, someone also says this is the strongest Poland out there. And someone also recommends that we should go at Tamarium. So, let's see. We rejected them. So, they, do they need to, can they not go to war with us? They're probably going to go to war with us eventually. So, uh, I don't really trust the Germans too much. Can we actually go to war with them ourselves? What happens if I do that? Well, let's bulwark against Bolshevism. Just because eventually they'll call in other people to join their faction. Can we actually take them off fast enough? Will they be guaranteed by the AI? These are all questions I don't know, but we should probably expand the University of Warsaw next. Or demand Slovakia. Ooh, we demand Slovakia. If we do that and they refuse, that would be very good for us, but. Um, I think I read this one before, but uh, real quickly. Warsaw University is where most of Poland's greatest minds attend to teach, learn, and broaden Poland's technological capabilities. By teaching, uh, by investing in an expansion of the university, we shall have seats for yet more minds and thinkers to strengthen the Polish state. Not a bad idea. Overall, not too bad. I'm feeling pretty good about this campaign so far. Hope you guys are as well. We're angry by German posturing. Oh, you bet we're angry. We're all pissed off here. So as soon as we're done with both of these, we'll start going with two millis at a time. Because we could use more planes, because we need to, we're going to try to get some basic heavy tanks here as well, so. We, we, we question them again. Sounds good to me. 100%, not bad. So, two at a time, and then let's keep one on civvies as well, because we could use more civvies to trade. Always good to trade away some of our resources, or some other stuff, but ooh, another mill as well. Don't mind if we do. I don't mind building up some roads as well, so. Um, more divisions, very nice. Honestly, it's probably best if we take out the Germans now. 
Well, and they're now guaranteed by the UK. That's not good. Um, hmm. So, well, that's not, that's really not good. That's really, really, really not good. I guess we want to create our own faction. All right. So, what did they justify on us? Would that not be appropriate? Now we're kind of in a pickle, which is not a good thing. Actually, are we mobilizing? Oh, we're going to limit conscription. We still have a little bit of manpower. That's nice. That's good, actually. Uh, what are we missing in terms of equipment? Besides tanks and support equipment. We need a little bit more support equipment. We'll, we'll go with one more. And our division so far... Ooh, better artillery is very nice. Oh, that is... What type of template are we using here? You guys are 18 combo width with recon. Well, you guys are 20 combo width with that stuff. And that was... Was it this division? No. Division to infantry. That's, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Alright. Uh, more anti-air, please. Thank you. Honestly. Do that. We need more manpower. We're going to need more equipment. We're going to need a whole lot of different things here, but that's okay. Oh, we can't do demand Slovakia. We need more... No. Slovakia is fully independent. Czechoslovakia is not in a faction with us. Oh, we can't do that one. It either exists... Or Czechoslovakia exists. Well, oh, they're fully independent. But they're, no, they're still fully independent. They're at peace. They're not in a faction with us. Zeoli. Well, we're kind of cut out of that one. So if we have to, we'll auto bypass that, bypass that one later on. If we if we have to, hopefully we don't have to. But we'll see. Cool. And are we making those infantry divisions or what? Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Mountaineers, not bad. Not great, but not bad. After this one, and we'll go with abolish segregated seating. We could do that one immediately, or we have some other stuff first. Yeah, I don't like this one. Yeah, owns one of the following must be true. Owns other Slovakia, Eastern Slovakia, Western Slovakia. Well, they do own it. Why can't we do that? Exists. Czechoslovakia is weak in her territory, the envy of her neighbors. If the Germans could take this to Denton by merely asking, can we not take Slovakia all in name? All the same, I mean, all the same. Does not exist. Does not exist. Okay, cool. Well, we'll see. That's kind of very weird. That's very weird, but okay. There you go. Um, we probably... Ooh, I don't know if we have any divisions over here. So let's do this, maybe. More infantry divisions. And you guys go there. And Bulgaria is killing itself. Nice. Extraction 3 is nice. Get some more extraction. And what else can we do here? I'd like to go to war economy. Obviously, we cannot yet. Republic of Bulgaria... Well, we can't send volunteers, so... Kind of sucks. And we have any more guys here? Yeah, subbies. Yeah, they'll be okay. Alright, anything else here? No. Keep training, keep training. Honestly, uh, do we have any anti-tank? Oh, there goes Turkey. Goodbye, Turkey. I mean, my, my biggest fear is that we'll go to war with the Germans. Oh, but we'll get German allies. And, uh... Then the Soviet Union will come knocking as well. Wow. So much for uh, the Axis powers. Nice. Very good. Very good. 38. Why not? Better guns are good as well. Let's see. 1, 2. 1, 2, some. Not bad. Keep making some more melees because we can still use them. There you go. Eh. We'll do it like that. Not bad. And what else we have here? War industrialist is not bad, not bad. Staunch aristocrat. I would like more stability. I'm going to war with them now, but we're going to kind of wait. Um, we're building this up anyway. It's getting more railway stuff, more infrastructure is always universal. Very, very nice. Not universal, but very, very nice. You know what? Screw it. Let's go over here. Between the seas concepts. Joseph Belutsky had an ambition for an alliance of nations spanning between the seas, Poles, Romanians, former Commonwealth members, and even Italians working together to ensure their mutual continued survival without giving an inch on their sovereignty. Now we stand in a position to fulfill Pelsudski's daring vision by reaching out to Romania. We'll make the first step in making the Intermarium a reality. Which was another comment that we should take this and go this route as well. So we are. Let's get some anti tank because we're going to need it against the German boys. And hopefully they can't just go to war with us all willy nilly. But you never know. You really never know. Anything else over here? Uh, we're looking... We're lacking quite a few stuff. Quite a bit of stuff. Do we have any cores on there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they attack us. It won't be too bad. And... Oh, the United States is down here. Oh, then the Allies. Ooh, maybe I don't want to kill off the Allies. Fall of Rome? Well, hopefully. Oh, actually. Here's what we're gonna, we should do. 
we should justify on Finland. Because Finland will go to war with the Comintern eventually. And if we can force the Allies to guarantee Finland, maybe they'll go to war with the Soviet Union too. Because they just wanted to guarantee Germany's in independence. So, let's see. They claim Mamel. And it looks like they've gone to return the Kaiser. Which means they should support the Finns. Danzig for guarantees. They'll probably do that one later on as well. Ideological defense. Hopefully they can go to war with us. Because I want to take out both these nations. If we possibly can. So, we'll see what happens. But this line should be able to hold. Well, I have I see nine and then we see two. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe. Well, not bad. Keep building them up. Keep building up them roads. Keep building up those military factories because we're going to need them. We really going to need them all. What is it, Finland? Nice. Let's grab one thing of aluminum. Actually, how, what are we on for this? We are on export focus. How much are we extracting for aluminum? Honestly, not a bad amount. I might just go down to limit exports next. But after this one, Alliance with the Baltic States. We can invite them in. The North Sea. Diplomatic mission to Finland. The Mediterranean. Diplomatic mission to Czechoslovakia. To Yugoslavia. Defend them. Protect them. Mm, we're okay. Uh, we'll go to war them early. We'll see what happens. Hopefully things get auto-bypassed. Prepare for the inevitable. Ask officially all the following must be true. When the following must be true, is it war? Is it war? Prepare for the inevitable. Ooh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure we can really do that one. So, let's wait and do... New Military Academy? Our high command leaves barren and empty, but this leaves a golden opportunity to plant the seeds for the future. Ensuring that future generals are loyal to our nation and highly educated in the art of war. By funding military academies across the nation, we'll ensure that any new Polish officers are of a higher caliber than any of the other predecessors. What do you mean we get... What? Okay, yeah, you remove fascist support. Okay, and? Problem? The Imperial Quantum Territories... Oh my gosh. And, of course, China joins the... Oh my god. Okay, so for this timeline, I don't think I'm going to be joining the Allies. I'm sorry. Or at least fight them. I can't fight them, but... Oh my gosh. Oh. And there goes... The Establishment of Greater Greece. Wow. Turkey, you lost it hard. Holy crap. Turkey... Oh my god. The French... The French Mandate of Kurdistan. You gave the Allies more colonies. Oh my... Gee, this looks beautiful. Honestly... This looks be I love what they did with the Greeks, and it's so nice and deep, richly blue. What the heck? Thessaloniki looks so good. Who the heck is this? Republic of Why? Why does Croatia exist? Oh, I don't have the state transfer tool mod. Oh, no. Well, Tito's back. This is not ideal. <laughs> not ideal. Let's go do that one, because I want more resources. That's, a that's slightly better. New Military Academy, after that one, what are we going to do? North Sea, better radar. Get some even better radar after that one. Um, well, abolish segregated seating. Pretty much. So at the very least, at least for this campaign, I want to take out the Soviets. Right? Please tell me that Finland is... Uh, why, why, why do they guarantee the Germans, but they don't guarantee the Finns? In what universe does that make sense? I'll just anyways. Do that one too. Do that and get some get some fuel. That's machine tool. So grab the, the one that takes more time. Five resources also is very very nice. Uh, we can always keep using more civvies and millies. So grab another one there. Crack out. Ah, look at that. Good. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So Germany, what are you up to? God, I wish you could see what they're up to. Let's go get agency. So we can spy on them and figure out what's going on. British... Oh my god, British North Africa. Yuck. Yuck. Ethiopia exists. Could be worse. China's doing okay-ish. Imperial Quantum Territories. So, Stalin's gonna come knocking eventually. Right, isn't it in his focus tree to come take us? Probably. Where's Poland? Claims on Poland, yeah. They'll do cl claims on Poland eventually. He's already done being paranoid. It's almost 1940. That one's fine. Happy 1940, everybody. Happy, happy, happy 1940. The mute. <laughs> okay. So now Japan's fighting the Allies, huh? Yeah, I might need to balance that a little bit more. Everyone is joining the Allies and such. Why did they? Go 
Come, you guarantee Germany, but not Finland. Bro. We see where their loyalties lay. They offer guarantee for territory. The German Empire's approaches with an offer that, as they say, may benefit both parties. In light of the current political situation and the threat on the eastern border, the Germans propose to issue a guarantee that they will come to our military aid in the event they would come to war with the Soviet Union in exchange. They ask only for the return of the lost territories of Danzig and Poznan. Poznan. We remove Gdansk, Gdania, Pozen, Katowice. No. I'm just trying to piss him off. Come on. So did they get a war goal against us? Sorry, Bill the Third, but not today. I actually don't have that much manpower. And atomic physics. Uh, this stuff is okay as well. Shipbuilding. Let's keep going with that stuff for now. <clears throat> Come on, Germany, go please, please kill me off. I do not want to fight you and then at the same time. Plan East. The Belarusian army. Ruthenian army. Um this is better for reduction. Kingdom Poland Lithuanian defensive plan. Fortification of the north. Fortification of Ukraine. Honestly, we could probably do plan west first, just because. Um Germany might attack, and I, when they do, I want to make sure we're ready. So, we'll see. North Sea Mediterranean. We could. Alliance of the Baltic States. Tree of Latvia, the North Sea. I, mm, the Mediterranean, maybe? Maybe? Uh, we, can still get, we can still join the Central Powers, but we probably don't want to. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Uh, Warsaw Main Railway Station. Warsaw is a nexus of transport and cargo to avoid bottlenecks. Extra effort is to be placed on the management of its railways. Not a bad idea. Please go to war with us. Please go to war with us. Come on. Oh, Jan. Yes, Jan. Yes. Get some ciphers done. That'd be nice. Prague. Actually, what, what, what are these guys up to? Guaranteed by the UK. Okay, so now they're guaranteed over here. So they do go to war over with these guys, which they should. It's already 1940, even though we're not on historical. They technically should, but you never know. <clears throat> Better consumer goods would be pretty nice, actually. As much as I want an elusive gentleman. Ooh, that's really nice, so. Oh my god, why do you keep doing this? That makes literally no sense for us right now. By land auction? Or naval auction, I should really say? Yes. Thank you. Yes, and then we'll do the stations. And we'll see what happens after we get that one. So six days, couple days left. Better radar, 1940 stuff. Better anti-air would be good. We're literally just waiting for them to try to kill us, so. Warsaw main railway station. Good, 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 good. And any parts and stuff, because we can. Follow it up with Central Defense of Poland. I want to wait for that one. Um standardize standardization of equipment. It'll be bad for army XP. Well, let's go ahead and choose one of these. Yeah, I want to choose one of these two. <sighs> Invest in anti-air. Complete plan west. Let's do plan west. The Axis are breathing down our neck. Though some within the government believe our relationship with Velen III to be cordial. We know that our Germans cannot be trusted and extensive plans in the west are necessary to secure Poland's future. Well, everyone, I've gone back in time and I went ahead and did the secret alliance with the Kaiser for a reason which I'll explain in just a little bit. But, the Kingdom of Poland owes its existence to the act of the 5th of November, a declaration made by the Kaiser of Germany, promising to carve out a new Polish kingdom from the Russian occupied Congress Poland. But, it's unyet known, unknown what the Kaiser's plans for Poland are yet, but perhaps the general mind of the German Empire's declaration could plant the seeds for an unlikely alliance. Now, why do I go down that path? Well, it's because I tried this several times off screen. Now, Germany is going to try to reform the Central Powers, which. It's not great for us. Um, where are they at right now? Uh, well, we can't really tell. But apparently, they just agreed to let us into the faction. Surprisingly, the German Empire has agreed to sign a formal alliance with the Kingdom of Poland and Romania. Although, once lifelong enemies, it would seem the dates of conflict between Poland and Germany are at last at an end. And the two nations may now move forward as allies against the rising tide of extremist ideology. We'll begin with the act of the 5th of November, in which the Germans agreed to release their Polish territory as an independent kingdom has now evolved into a historic alliance that will henceforth be known as the November Alliance, a great day for Poland. So now we're all part of this this little, really kind of weird uh, November alliance. Um, we'll see how long this lasts. Also, I did go to, I did kind of replay of what we did earlier, just because as we saw, well, the Allies beat up the Italian faction, so I figured, you know what? Let's go to war with Bulgaria at least. We can get him as a puppet. So I got him as a puppet already, which is pretty nice. But as you can see on the top of the screen here, I did all this just because the Soviet Union, well, they they might want to kill us. 
<laughs> they might want to manu actually manually kill us, so... Yeah, and as you can see, I've been trying to build up a lot of forts against the Germans, because I do want to go to war with them eventually. My goal is, like, use the Germans. Beat the crap out of the Russians or the Soviets. Oh, we can't do that one. Oh, God. Let's bypass. Oh. And then go back and do that focus. What? I don't like that. Why, why, why is it allowed to bypass? Well, we're now being... Well, can't be... Well, hmm. So, are we the leader of this, or can we kick them out? It looks like Germany's probably the leader. It's, oh, no, no, we are the leader. Okay. We are the leader, and the Soviet Union demand, Soviet Union demands the Far East. Well, as you can tell, our divisions aren't all the way over there yet. Having reasserted the claims on our eastern territories, the USSR has now put pressure on us to see this line to them, suggesting that this is the only way to avoid another invasion and possible annexation of our, or partition. Ordinarily, giving in to such threats easily would be out of the question, but the Soviet Union is far from being our only concern. If we agree to their demands, we may have less to worry on, about on the eastern front, although it would also position the eastern front significantly further to the west. Yeah, no thanks. Um, yeah, we're going to kick him from the faction later, so. Give it, eat it peacefully? We're not surrender without a fight, pretty much. Um, now, honestly, Soviet industry is not great. They might be able to beat us up just a little bit, but keep it, keep an eye on this. They'll go to war with us. And, yeah, we'll do okay. And also, we did do some other focuses, such as, off-screen, demand Slovakia. Hopefully, we can get this one done. Czechoslovakia is weak in her territory the envy of her neighbors. If the Germans could take the Sudan immediately by asking, can we not do Slovakia all the same? We did local western plans as well. There are key strategic regions all along the Polish German border. Drafting comprehensive plans on a purely local level and executing them at the right time is as necessary for the continued survival of the Polish state as a grander battle plans. The hell fortified area. By fortifying key areas, we make ourselves less vulnerable. Should war come again to our shores and borders? And hopefully we can do this one too. Um, Hungary has to be at peace. God, I hope, I hope we can do this one. I really hope we can do that one. But, uh, what do we want to do here? Prepare for the inevitable. We'll see what happens. Uh, industry, Slovakia, new military academy. Our high command lays barren and empty, but this leaves a golden opportunity to plant a seed for the future, ensuring that the future generals will load our nation in how to educate in the art of war. But funding military academies across the nation will ensure that any new Polish op officers are of high caliber than any of their predecessors. Also, if you want to read about this one again, please go ahead. I forgot to get this one earlier, but you know, it is what it is. Just because I basically had to replay this several times, because we kept getting destroyed by the central powers. Because basically, Austria Hungary comes back alive, and then with the Germans, it's impossible to hold, so. Well, we'll see what happens. Wait, they did that, folk. They did that, and they're still manually just fine against us. That is a bit weird, but okay. Keep making more uh, factories and such. But at least we got enough manpower for now. I did get up to limited conscription, which we need more than that, but whatever. Um, who do we have around here as well? I'll choose someone that we can't always choose. We can always choose another operative slot. An aristocrat sounds really nice. Someone we can't always get, so. Still building a few forts here and there, but not too concerned about the forts as much as uh, survival? Survival, probably? But we're going to need more, um... Wait. They can now assume leadership for the reasons. Oh. They need to deploy a lot more manpower? Yeah. Yeah, so we got to make sure they do not usurp our rule. Let's go get some uh, that. Uh, United Mexican States join the Allies. All right. Come on, Soviet Union, try to attack me. Attack me, please. Please. We need the army XP for the love of God. Honestly, recovery rate's not too bad either. Also, I did merge like all the cavalry divisions together, so that's why we only have six left. And I've been just deploying as much as we possibly could earlier. So, any more anti-air? We support equipment. We need to get some anti-tank. Oh, and there we go. Um, do we do okay on the first couple of days of war? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, America. Oh, yeah. Thanks, America. Thanks, FDR. Yeah, thanks, man. Let's see what we can do. Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah, Germany will take some stuff. Totally won't kill you in the end. Okay, so they're in the common turn as well. Is anyone else in the common turn? No. Who is this? Mutual assistance block, huh? Alright, well, whatever. They go to war with us, but then... Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Don't, yeah, don't don't bother me with that stuff. Uh, let's see, Poland. Can Poland win here? I want to do a general attack, but we don't have that much manpower. Uh, where's supply bases, actually? That's a good question to ask first. Supply bases here and here. Zitomir up here. Ooh, taking Minsk would be very nice as well. Can we actually take Minsk? No, we got to go down here first, which means you guys can go down here too, right? Yeah. Can we actually take that tile, though? That's my question. 
Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, it is April, but still. Three divisions, not bad. Uh, we've been working a little bit, not too much, but a little bit on our intelligence agency as well. So I do apologize that there was a sudden shift in this campaign. It's just to survive. We kind of had to do this, so. Or we would have literally all died there, so. Yeah. Do you anything over here? There you go. Oh, you're immediately attacking Minsk. Okay. Um, there you go. Want some help? There you go. Oh, wait. Did they get volunteers from somebody? Is that... Yeah, the Japanese People's Republic. Wait, are those volunteers or are they allies? No, they're, they're volunteers. They're, they're volunteers, huh? All right. Before your plan's gone, that sucks. Hey, we've got anti-tank, which is very, very nice, actually. Grab some of not that yet. Ah, uh, yeah, hmm. Artillery. We need the anti-tank. Because if we do want to fight the Germans in the end, we're going to need some anti-tank. We're going to need some serious anti-tank. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, are they attacking us finally? Maybe? No? Czechoslovakia refuses. Shockingly, the Czechoslovakian government has refused their demands to see the Slovak region. Our attempts at finding a diplomatic solution have failed, and this has now become a matter for the military. War it is. Oh, crap. And then the Allies. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fight a two-front war. That sucks. Can we still do Hungary, though? Yeah, let's do this one if we possibly can. Restore Poland-Hungary. Centuries ago, the crowns of Poland-Hungary were united, and dominance of Eastern Europe was secured for the nation. Now, with Transylvania and Nistria in Polish control, the only thing preventing us from reclaiming the legacy of Poland-Hungary is the continued existence of Hungary itself. Yes. Hopefully we get them, because we will we'll take Czechoslovakia. We'll take out... Because these guys will eventually, in their focus tree... Go with the Germans. Because there's this focus tree. Because they did do German Puppet and with deliver the Sudetenland. So they'll join them eventually. I'm not sure when. And I can't afford a war with the Allies right now, as you can tell. Can you guys just try a general attack? It's not going to be great. Do we have enough planes here, too? It's definitely mixed air. I feel like we're not getting enough army XP for this, but whatever. We're going to push in a little bit more. We're going to raise your conscription level 2. Um, there's no way we're going to be able to hold all this stuff uh, without raising it. Oh, look. They're actually doing force defense. Look at that. Huh. China stores German rule the Qingdao. Call you guys in. Ireland join the Allies. We're getting logistics. Oh, we're losing trains there, huh? Wait, why are the council non-aggression pact? Wait, what? And I, with this, with these attacks, I do want to get some more uh, soldier XP as well. Machine assisted stuff. That's not bad. Could do that too, but mm, we'll see. Okay, making more millies. As much as I love, love, love making roads. Oh, Bulgaria, sure, thanks, man. Millie and a civvy at all, all things, and then more ports, just in case, you never know. We'll stop the text in about five seconds. Five, four, three, oh, look at that. Two, one, alright, stop the text. Alright, cuz, it's not looking great over here. You guys, honestly, I don't know why I made you another army group. Um, here, you guys go over there. There you go. Cavalry's okay, it's not great, but it's, it's, it's just okay. Alright, so that was a little bit of an attack. 73,000 versus roughly double-ish. Ish. Now we've got our supply issues. Great. There you go. Non Why do they keep constant non-aggression packs? Bros. They're the ones who went to war with us. What do you mean? So now we're going to have to put down a lot more resistance. Gosh, darn it. Got two. That'd be good. More divisions. Nice. And we're using the infantry divisions, of course, which need logistic companies eventually, which is fine. Hellas, not bad. And we're not. Oh my gosh, we're really out of stuff here, aren't we? Yep, support equipment, guns, pretty normal. Don't see the Germans moving or doing anything, but whatever. All right, sets of conscription. Here we go. I'm getting very concerned with everyone canceling their non-aggression pact. Very concerned. Falls ill, that's fine, whatever. Come on, Soviets, you want to go to war with us, so... Ooh, maybe I want to stop doing that. I 
Oh, they do, do touch us a little bit. Are we suffering from supply issues anywhere here yet? We should probably, probably push these guys out. Where are their divisions? Yes, there we go. Nice. And I'll get some infiltration. Fighting the mud is not a good idea, but... Let's see. We're probably going to lose there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Oh, look at that. Bohemia. Oh, still, there we go. Now they're part of our alliance. It's a little better. And if we get hungry, which they probably won't, but maybe we will. Actually, you know what? If we improve our relations, will they accept? Hopefully. I hope so. Could be very wrong about that. And we lost probably some ships there too. I think it. They are attacking us a little bit, which is nice. They deny our claim. God dang it. Leaders of the Hungarian government have announced <clears throat> that they will not acknowledge Michael the first claim to the Hungarian throne. All this ends with the possibility for any peaceful annexation of the Kingdom of Hungary. It does mean that the claim may be pushed for, through for. They leave us no choice. Pretty much. Bros. Like, come on. That's nice to see. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to attack a little bit. You know, their volunteers are mostly the ones attacking. <clears throat> Alright, so. Your supply is not very good now, is it? Mmm. They demand Bessarabia, huh? So they'll be forced to concentrate on the border on the other side of our border. And the diplomats have demanded that we cede all of Bessarabia to them. But we cannot we can expect the Germans to intervene as their pact with the Russians apparently contain a secret protocol that puts inside the Soviet sphere of influence. Should we resist? Yeah, duh. Hello. <laughs> duh. Well, there goes Austria. God dang it. Uh, well, we gotta kill these guys off later. So doing this war will make us stronger, hopefully, in the end. God, I hope it makes us stronger. There you go. Well, at least you're giving us stuff, too. Waiting for them to do, like, an attack or something against us. What if we were to... Because these guys are okay. They're not great. They're actually they're come with. They did put field hospitals on them, too. Well, we could use those guys, but... Yeah. Supply bases, where are they? Oh, right here. This one's a supply base? Really? Alright. Well, that's still worth getting, so. Yeah. Definitely not the way I wanted this campaign to turn out. Huh. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, we're gonna need more stuff. Thanks for the stuff, though. Oh, you actually see something? There we go, we're looking at that. Hey, we got green air too. Well, we did. Oh boy. They are attacking us. Come on. Come on. Got some of that too. Thank you. Oh, this guy's a spy base now, that's nice. Now they don't. Um, uh, rail lines though. It's not connected because this is overloaded. Kiev would be nice. Itamir is pretty overloaded, too. Hmm. Up here would be good to get that one, too. Maybe we could push out. Push out, and we'll go to this one up here. That would be nice. And you're going to move. So. More air stuff? Yes, please. There you go. And do want to cut them off here. But when they're attacking me, I'm just like, okay, attack me. Let's kev. Hmm. I want to push into here to here and circle those guys and kill them off. So let's see what we can do about this. There you go. What why'd you cancel the lease? What? What critical part are we getting? 1.69? Nice. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Expand the university. Like I said earlier, we, we will go down with the all segregated seating, which get more non car manpower, which actually be very, 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 very useful for us. With future slot, thank you very much. It is, of course, still 1940. Fuel's okay. It's a better planes, shall we? We shall. 
All right, so Chief of the Air Force, ground support, air superiority is pretty good to grab. We'll grab that one because we can use that immediately. Um, right, not, not super strong. Let's go in here too. Should be able to do okay there. Turkey just looks so bad. Turkey doesn't exist anymore. Jesus Christ. Protected of Armenia does. Oh. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, they go to war with them too. Mediterranean. Alright then. And then, um, yeah, minus congregation factors. I think I read this one earlier, but Congress Poland was the largest, most unified region of our nation, and it holds the greatest potential for growth in all of Poland. But modernizing major cities like Warsaw will turn Congress Poland into the industrial heart of our nation. Alright, so at this point, they've, they've severely weakened their line. Actually, we have the cipher done, so you might as well use it, right? You might as well. <clears throat> Is this smart to do? Especially if we don't have that much resources? Probably not, but... Okay, Iran, join him too. Oh! Well, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. I forgot about this too. Well, the Austro-Hungarians need to do something here. So all of Iberia is now on, in the common turn. Well, this cup of coffee we have is pretty good, though. Pretty nice. Sure, guys. You guys just doing nothing there, or what's going on? Well, this is weird. Anti-air. A better anti-tank. You want to go to limit exports as well. Look at that manpower, not bad. 80% mm, is pretty good. Sure, allies. Why not? Oh, wow. They actually have convoys in here. Sea Wolf. Not bad. Courier Officer, Leader Experience Gain, not bad. Yeah, the Soviets really screwed up when they went to war with everyone here. Get some better tank stuff, even though I'm not using tanks really at all, which kind of does suck. We just don't have the industry for it. it costs so much. Is anyone near level 5 yet? I kind of doubt it. Because then we can put a preferred tactic on them. Tell anti tank? Good. Yeah, they really weaken themselves way too much. I mean, I'll give the allies some territory, but it won't be a ton. Ah, there goes this, goes this. I'll give the. Germans and Austro-Hungarians, Yugoslavia, all allies will get this area too. November Alliance. Oh, you actually need it? Holy crap. You really can't create the meat of Moors anymore. That sucks. Can't pull the whole switcheroo on them. Actually, if anything, you guys come down here. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Follow Gibraltar. There is Yugoslavia. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. The thing I hate about this is that we have to administer all this territory. Like, so much. We've done really well against them, though, but they have uh, up to 147 divisions, which is not nearly enough in 1940 for them. But okay. We're almost at Moscow. Delightful. We're going to some major supply issues. If we can get Leningrad, that would be phenomenal. Come up here, cut them off if possible. Or go up there and take. Take that, that's actual supply base too. That'd be nice. Yeah, supply map mode is extremely important to always look at. Always, 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 always look at. Alright, so we can do war bonds, but we're gonna come back down here. Ooh, service bar equipment might be bad. Yeah, after that one. Um, yeah. Modernized congressional factories. That'd be good. It definitely not turned out the way I expected it to. Or even really wanted to. But again, that supply base is super important. Important? Important. Let's go there do that. Thank you. Sure. Nope. We're good. I will not use German boys for this. No, no, no. Are you guys, are you guys over there? Nice. Give us some time. They will starve and die. Hopefully. Eventually. Someday. Maybe. Hey, thanks, America. Yeah, who needs to make actual equipment when people just give it to you for free? Not bad. Well, we got Moscow. Taking pretty much all the Ukraine, too. It wasn't going to expect it to be this easy. We're still not even a war economy yet. Wow. Where are the resources? Oh, nice. 
you buy one from the Raj. And a bio rubber, another rubber from France. Nice. Oh, invite Greece. Control the Bosporus. Wait, Turkey exists? Where? Mandate of Kurdistan. Protector of Armenia. The Turks don't exist. Are they in Cyprus? No? Yeah, okay, so that doesn't make any sense to do that one, so. I'm sure why we that option. Alright, whatever. Um, sure. Why not? Well, new military academy, I guess. I mean, it's just all green. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like this. I really do, but... Go logistics. Oh, that's, that's it's so important. Army regrouping for a guy we can get. More recovery rates, okay. This is pretty good as well. Entrenchment specialist. I've never done this one. Lost mobilization speed, but you get more max entrenchment. We already have a guy who's on defense, so that's already pretty good. So, well, I'm going to choose that one just because I've never chosen that one before. How many guns are we out of? You see, I wanted to use those tanks, but just we don't have the industry for it. They're so expensive. After that one, which one are we going to do? Yeah, this one. We're going to read this one again, please be right ahead. Which I'm, I apologize if I keep saying that over and over and over again, just because I cannot remember what we've done. Because I'll be honest, this is my, my, my fourth attempt doing this. Field Marshal stuff, Field Marshal stuff that we could hire if we really wanted to, which we're not going to right now. Yeah, not bad. Mm, how much anti-tank do we have? We don't have a lot of anti-air. We have, like, no anti-air. We have no guns. The Siege of Leningrad is still going well for us. Oh, five more divisions. Yes, please. That's okay. I so can cut them down just a little bit. Yeah, cut down to six. I like even numbers, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that manpower. Nice. Ah, single division holding out, and the Leningrad state city has fallen. Spain's about to die, too. We killed off about half a million of the, those guys. Not bad. Yeah, when the USSR goes to war with everybody, it's not good for them. Stalingrad's a capital. Oh, what the heck happened here? Did they do a, a reversal? The Japanese took North Sakhalin. They took the Southern Sakhalin. Calvin and Stan is still doing quite well. Wow. Wow. Anything here? Quick improvisation. Proper heritage. We're still using that, but... Well... Daily command power, land induction cost. It doesn't really matter too much anymore. Entrenchment speed. and eh, professional army corps. That's fine. On the level up... We're gonna need more defense. New military leader. Eh, I'll do that one. Tenacious defense is fine. For air, at least. Dive bombing. Ooh, cast research speed. Design. Carrier cast accidents. Air reduction cost goes down by 15%. More daily air XP would not be bad either. I'll do something else I've not done yet. I want to go with air crew surveys. For this guy, it doesn't matter. Sea wolf trait. Yeah, let's go with that one. That sounds like probably the most logical choice for us. Government cypher school is nice. Good stuff. If we could be as to be so bold and just break over here and take out this to Oh, then again, they are allied with over there. Okay, that'd be smart. Just to be over. Cavalry doing the best. Not very good on attack, though. Hmm. Well, Stalingrad is fallen. Well, then. I'm taking over a million casualties. I mean, it's not much, but still. I have plenty of manpower. Oh, oh, now we're fighting Japan. Oh boy, they're out of equipment too. Hello, who's this? Wait, who can we invite? What? We are way past Moscow now. Okay, this is a really weird world. Getting to this part of Russia sucks so much. No supply connection for the capital? Oh. Trying to join the, oh my gosh. Oh, danger man. Some railways in this path have been recently captured from an enemy and need to be converted to able to transfer supply. So we got about two days left. Happy 1941, everybody. Ah, there we go. Now there should be some supply in there, right? Demanded supplies. Okay, now, there we go. Cool, now it's going. Hearing upgrades. I'm actually going to go with Ambusher because we're still going to fight the German. The German's not going to be easy to beat. So uh, It's a mixture of both of these. 
Sure, guys. Sure. Why not? You? Spain is gone? Goodbye, Spain. We hardly knew you. Because I don't know you. Cavalry giving it their all, man. They're really giving it their all. Join the war alongside them. Alright. Well, hope you like Central Asia. After this. We better want to go to... Or we can go to Total Mobilization, but we just don't have the manpower for that. So we'll go to War Economy next. I'm very surprised we haven't done that one yet. But after Military Academy. Congress Poland, please. Thank you very much. Or Krakow Industries? No, this one. Yeah, this one's better. Well, how about we get another bonus and ha take even less of Black Assumption? Nice. Kazan is a capital now. They are 88% of the way towards capitulation. Mutual assistance block. So now we have to fight the Japanese, which I don't want to. Hopefully that America will take care of that. I don't really want to fight them. And all of China and India, pretty much, are in the Allies. Let's not piss off the Allies too much. Hopefully not. You never know. But we might. We might literally piss them off. So. Hey, thanks, Germany. Thanks for your guns, which we'll use against you later on, probably, honestly. That's why we're trying to build all those... Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, land forts earlier. <laughs> Still million manpower. Any upgrades? Go ambusher. You're going to need it later. Trust me. Trust me. Wait, what? Allies. I want Baku, though. Hmm. Yeah, just keep going on, I guess. Might as well. It's only right of uh, a million guns. So after this one, and break central defense of Poland, that's not too bad, actually, dude. We can actually use that right now. Poland is lacking the equipment it needs to defend against countless threats to our border. By expanding the Ministry of National Defense, we'll be able to equip, uh, better equipped to fight any army who seeks to brutalize Poland under an occupation. It's not a bad idea. 41, get some more guns though. Got some air doctrine? Yeah, nice. Ooh, better fighters. Because then again, we're so, we're so deep into the Soviet Union, I don't think our fighters can actually even reach them. So, let's come over here. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. Belgium joined that stuff. Why? Why? Germany. That is a little worrying, not gonna lie. I'm not going to join your wars, because you're not really fighting the Soviets right now, and someone here has to actually do stuff here. Wait. Oh, that's Yugoslavia. I'm like, wh why is Austria hungry red? Nice. Any more planes? Oh, yes, please. Nice. Oh, there you go. Any cast, perhaps? Yeah, this is really weird. It's just Poland just set and forget. Alright, we cancel that. Well, guys, guys, what's wrong with you? Some cast, there you go. Get him, and there you go. There you go. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really deep. Holy crap, we're very deep into Russia right now. Take the supply point. Oh, we, oh, yeah, supply base, this. Nice. Well, did not expect it to be this um, short a video. Well, maybe not short, but like this quick to kill them off. Like, this is a little ridiculous, not gonna lie. Look at that, holy crap. What, what you doing, son? Sure. 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 Why not? And we're making this anti-tank for the Germans, so. Uh, ooh, yes. Another city for us to use. Put up those road sons. This is ridiculous. Oh, we're so close. 97% of the way there. I'm not going to kill off the Chinese. Well, maybe we will. State of Xinjiang. Yeah, no. We'll see. Yeah, no. With everyone else in the Allies there, I, I don't think it's really fitting for our place to be there, so. Yeah. Yeah. Keep building ourselves up as much as I love making roads. Build, build, build. Bob the Builder. No, thank you. Oh, another one for... Nice. More land at attack? Yes, please. 
Th this is exactly why we wanted one war on one side compared to the other side. At least to begin, just because we need all its army XP. And even with even 10% less supply consumption. Still pretty bad in fighting in Russia. I can't imagine having plus 20% more supply here. Like, consumption, I should say. Nice. Good job, guys. Nope. Nope. Can you not beat the Belgians? Warsaw main railway station? Warsaw is an excellent transport and cargo to avoid bottlenecks. Extra efforts to be placed on the management of its railways. Oh, absolutely. Wow. You're trying to navel bait and you're losing. Just, they have eight divisions. Blow them up. Just blow them up. When in doubt, blow them up. It works for the Middle East. It works work for us. Uh, let's see. I still want to do this stuff too. Student and Mountains. Uh, let's do the Prussian line, maybe. Nah, invest in anti airs. Actually, that's not too bad either. So you see a fortified area is not that bad, not great though. Oh, well. Uh. Okay, so we have played the peace conferences on, so I'm going to just do this real quick. And. Okay, it's going to take a while, probably. Actually, we could just give this to China. There you go. Just give it to China. Who cares? Why do you. Why do you own that much? What? Good job, China, I guess. China number one. Oh, we need 91. My bad. My apologies for this. And there we go. Simple and easy. So let's do... I'll do all these before we do that one. The Prussian Guard. Our border with Prussia is woefully undefended. All of our investments in the Prussian fortifications will mean nothing without soldiers manning the forts. Not bad. I mean, they got... How close are they? 99% of the way there. We need literally just one more VP. One more victory point, please, and then we'll have them undone. undone. One and done. Seriously, this was... You know it's bad when even Poland... Or, or, I guess, Kino, Poland, Lithuania, no. Poland, Romania. Oh, and we won! Um, can do really well here, so... Well, let's see. Let's give France... Spain. Because Spain is just pain with an S. You're gonna have all of Spain. There you go. Congratulations. Um, Austria-Hungary, do you have... I do want to give them the claims and cores, yeah. You can have that one. Uh, you know what, you can have all of it. Except for this. As well as this. Yeah. Kosovo, Serbia. Because Bulgaria, my puppet, is going to get this. Oh, where's Bulgaria? What is the Bulgarian flag? There it is. Oh yeah, I should have higher score than them. Makes sense, there you go. Good job, guys, good job. And we'll give, you know what? I don't want the British to be too strong. There's a lot of overseas stuff. You can have all Portugal. Oh, sorry, Germany got nothing out of this, but you didn't do much either. Well, I could satellite these guys. I could take all states too. That's a lot of resistance. I don't want to deal with that. Just puppet them. Mongolia, puppet them. Soviet Union. Honestly, do we have any claims or cords around here? Soviet, the so so Soviet Socialist Republic and the Soviet Union both have cores on this. Okay. It doesn't look like we have anything on them, which really does suck. So what if, what if, we said, as much as I want to core them, or just eat them all up, we could take all states, too. That would be really nice for industry. So, satellite Far Eastern Republic? What if I just puppet them all? Thanks, guys. So if we puppet them, then who, who becomes that? Are you just Red Russia? Okay, that's really boring. They're doing Lazarev. Why are you still doing socialism in one country? Uh, daily common support. Okay, so they're doing daily common support. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's really not good. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Gary do be looking kind of nice and thick, though. November Alliance. Is it better just to annex them, then? They're going to do it regardless. Trotsky plots still? Oh my goodness. Could they still have a civil war? Could they still have a civil war? Uh, Polita Bureau. Not bad. Okay, so if it's just that one, we might be able to help suppress what they really want here. Oh, we're following the Japanese still? Sent attache? Yeah, no, I don't want them to do that focus. Daily communism support is going to not be very good for us. But you never know. So, yeah. Train some more. It'll be fine. Oh, we're still... F no, we're not fighting down there. So... We have the Great Mongolian State. 
Oh, we have a tattoo too, but oh, we pieced you out with you. Okay. So, oh, Korea exists too. They're fully independent now. Japanese People's Republic. Well, I'm not super concerned about them. Is it possible to kick these guys out of the faction immediately? Join wars against Belgium? I'm kind of okay. Kick from faction. They have war... Oh. Ooh. They have war goals against these guys, so if they want to go to war with France and the Allies, I'm not super opposed to that. But at the same time... What if we did some... Uh, come back home. I'll let you all come back home and enjoy yourselves. That was a, that was a war that was very... Busy. Huh. <laughs> Not the best way to put it, but really busy. And also, I didn't want—I I, I just don't want to deal with all the manpower issues here, or the resistance issues. That's not a lot of fun. Oh. The army's looking a little maxed out right now. Atomic research, not bad. 1941, of course. Uh... Armor divisions—we don't have that much army XP, though. Yeah, I don't know. If... <sighs> we just need more stuff. It does increase the armor a little bit. Is that worth it? It takes so much army speed to get these guys on here. I don't know if it's really worth it. You could try it. It's not very good. Hmm. More melees, I guess. So hopefully the allies take these guys out. Because Lord knows I'm not going to. But as soon as Germany wants to go to war with like, the allies, I'm kicking them out of the faction immediately. As well as Austria-Hungary. Yeah, no, we're gonna still need those divisions, my bad. Yeah, let's make some more divisions. We need a second army here. Yeah, go and do that, it's fine. No, Germany, I, I, I'm pretty content. I don't, I don't want to go to war. We need to guard this territory, we need to guard this territory. And being at war kind of sucks for stability issues, but at the same time... We can do war bonds. War economy wouldn't be bad. We have conscription level, too. Industrial concerns. Uh, improve working conditions, maybe? Maybe not. Reform the Commonwealth, can't quite do that. Nice. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Well, maybe we could still become the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, too. We need more compliance up here. We're almost there, too. Not bad. Industrial concern. Meh, I guess a concern. So, after the main rail Warsaw ra rail station. Oh, we bike Greece. Yeah, I can't do this one. We had to capitulate. Kind of sucks. I don't know why. Just have to capitulate, man. But what if we don't want to capitulate? Like, what if we just don't want to? Yo, my gosh. We're going to need so many more factories. They're lowered by five for now. That's fine. Get another thing in tungsten. That's fine. That's why I keep making more civvies. Oh, are the Germans actually winning here? Nice. Good for you guys. Good for you. Um, we'll do the Prussian line. Pose in. Prussian guard. Yeah. Board with Prussia is woefully undefended. All of our investments in the Prussian fortifications will mean nothing without soldiers manning the forts. Not a bad idea. My gosh. You try to sleep in again, and it just does not work. Jesus Christ, Germany. How can you not win against just a Belgium? And you're easily able just to take us all out. Bro. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're still over there? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend staying over there. Let's go, like, right here or something. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. Wow, it sucks for trucks. Why are trucks so bad? I mean, we're transporting stuff, too, but still. Mm, there you go. Russian Guard, Sabotage Polish Industry, Sudeten Mountainers. Let's see. Develop Gdansk, Krakow. Yeah, Central Defense. So, if you want to do this one again, please go ahead. Yeah. We need that extra line for construction speed. We'll probably do that one next, maybe. I do want to get through everything at least, because at the time of this recording, I've not done any of this stuff here, so. Invest in anti air, the Prussian line. East Prussia is a key invasion point for the Germans and a great gap in our current defenses. By expanding a fort line along the Prussian border, our armies will be more capable of defending our nation from the threat to their north. Not a bad idea. Oh, oh, at least we're able to beat them up now. Yeah, so when are you guys going to go to war with the French? Colocalization. It's not bad. There you go. Not bad, not bad. And how's the war going along with these guys? It's doing nothing. The Germans are all the way over here. Holy crap. Oh, please don't tell me. How much more cotton am we getting? 0.48. Oh, it, it really is going up. So we have to spend some PP. Foreign influence. In Russia, plus 0.1 every day. There you go. That's going to cost a lot of political power for that. 
Christmas industry it goes up 0.55, no, 0.54. God dang it. So we're basically have to throughout the rest of the campaign. We gotta make sure we keep it there too. Um, Belgium, please one Belgium boy. I want to, I want to get that stuff, but it just doesn't make sense too. We'll grab some of that stuff too, because again, we like our motorized vehicles harder. Uh, aluminum, why not? So at this point, we're just waiting for the Germans. The Germans aren't looking too bad. Oh, what are you guys doing up here too? Just waiting for the. Ger oh, <clears throat> Austria united, Austria hungry. It wasn't the Hungarians. Huh. Well then. Oh, what's a tree like then? Oh, it's a generic focus tree. Liberty ethos. Interventionism focus. Oh. I guess we're going to go to democratic? So can we see what the Germans have done in their focus tree? Oh, yeah, we can. So they haven't done air innovations. Lost wall. Cancel the lease. Whatever. It's fine. Army innovations too. They went with focus on the true enemy. Central powers. Prepare the Italian coup. Oh, so they even went. Oh, maybe it uh, bypassed for them. When we did everything we did. Uh, like, it bypassed their focus to create the central powers. So they can they can still join a faction, but they can't create their own. Okay, not bad. Uh, break the Anglo-French colonial hegemony. Tackle the Eastern threat while well, we were going to war with them, so... Yeah, so they're kind of done then. Not not terrible, not terrible. Section 5 is pretty good for us, too. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, the Prussian line. And then, let's see, rocket artillery, 42, not bad. 42, uh, anti-tank, that'd be good. And plane stuff, these two are the ones we really, really need. Fuel-wise, might as well, I guess, at this point. So, we got another, oh, 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 they're only 12 combo, that sucks. Yeah, our divisions are better, sorry guys, not really sorry at all, though. Hmm with you. And I'll put you where? Well, it's just the Germans are going to fight over here. We have this border. And that's pretty much it, which is not bad. Hmm. I might just double up you guys here. That might be for the best. Go and train. I'm sure some of you guys could train as well. Some of the production is very good. Some extraction. Portable radios are very nice too. And what else do we need? Military parade, Great Mongolian state. War bonds would be very beneficial. Yeah, I think we're gonna do war bonds. Wow, the Germans are definitely expanding everywhere. Is America? That, that, oh, are they doing anything over here? America, you got Guam. Can you Guam it up? All of North America is in the Allies. You're fighting the Belgians and the Japanese, but it doesn't look like you're really fighting the Japanese. So, I think we're probably going to end it here. Let's read a few more folks because I might do off screen just so we can get some stuff done. And then in the next episode, we'll, we'll kick Germany out of the faction and then we'll try to kill them. And hopefully, they won't join the Allies and probably call it a campaign. Invest in anti air. We're unlikely to be capable of outproducing the Germans in the air. However, we need not only outnumber them when we can instead invest heavily in constructing anti air weaponry on the ground. With ball fours in every state, German pilots won't get far before meeting their guns. Silesia fortified area. More forts constructed in the south with secure additional defenses. Uh, expand Poznan forts. Poznan is already home to a plethora of bunkers and key defensive structures, but there's much room for improvement. Poznan is the first line of defense against the enemy must be defended, regardless of the cost. Sabotage Polish industry. Our enemies have far stronger armies than ours and in greater numbers. While it also be nice to entertain the idea that we shan't lose ground, the truth is we are unlikely to hold out forever. By rigging our factories and railways with explosives, we may however be able to render them useless to our enemies in the event of an occupation. Sweden to Mountaineers. Lucidental M is an insecure border, but also provides a unique defensive position. By training men who have mastered mountain warfare, will be able to outmaneuver the Germans and the lofty peaks of Zeolzi. Expand the Poznan forts. It's home to, already home to bunkers and key defensive structures, but there's much room for improvement. Poznan is the first line of defense against the enemy and must be defended regardless of the cost. And complete plan west. The Polish military high commander satisfied that adequate plan has been drawn for the inevitable conflict with the Germans in the time for plan west has come to an end. But hey, have you enjoyed the video, which er, turned out very weird from what I originally planned it to be. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up going to war with the Germans as well as their Austro-Hungarian lapdogs. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.